Now, the next step is I'm going to add a little something to each one and um, I'm going to have to draw it on. So let's just do one on camera and then I'll do the rest off camera. And I'm kind of just going to do it in the center here on this one and see if I like it in the center. And Bailey's going to dig. And if you know what I'm talking about, you've been with me a while. If you don't, it's my dog. She digs. <laughs> Whenever I turn on the camera. And she's been in here with me for, I don't know, 30 minutes while I've been working on this. Oh, where's my eraser? I don't have my other eraser. Oh, it's on the end here. Um, I don't like how tall this is. I want to make it taller. I want mine to be tall. So anyway, when I turn the camera on, she digs. So that's what she's doing. I don't know why. I can't figure it out. She just does. Okay. I'm going to go and paint this. Actually, I'll paint it on camera and I'll fast forward it so that you can see what it looks like and then I'm going to go off camera to draw the rest of them. I don't know if you can even see this or not. I'll come close. And when I get done, I'm going to go around and outline all the pencil marks and um, then you'll be able to see the image come in more clear. Go around the bird and I'm going to do this in fast forward so I'll stop talking now. Okay, I'm going to take a black pen and probably I'll use, hmm, probably use the Sharpie fine point, extra fine point, and go around all the pencil markings. And then I'll do the eye last. And this is permanent, so if I mess up, it's there. <laughs> I can't wipe it away. And I'm, I haven't collage podged, so even if I used my other pens, I think it wouldn't wipe away. But we're just going to go for it anyway. So that's what I'm doing next in Fast Forward is outlining all the pencil marks and then we'll do the eye um, after that. I'm changing pens because the Sharpie is not working on this very well. I may have ruined it, I don't know, but this is a Micron pen. It's the 005 tip. Micron Pigma. It's real thin. Thinner than the um, Sharpie I was going to use. So, I might get a sketchy look, which I'm okay with.
Okay, I got the pen to work, but it's still difficult to go around these lines. It's so bumpy, and I would slide or I would come around the corner and it would hit the bump and it would like slide. So it's not the most perfect outline, but it's it's okay. Um, the next thing I'll do is add the little dot to the eye, so that's what I'm doing there. And I'll show you close up. Now when this dries, which I'm going to go off camera and dry for a minute. Isn't that cute? It's still cute. I love it. Um, I'm going to go off camera and dry this, make sure it's real dry. And then I'm probably going to... <laughs> I should edit that part out. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it in. Um... <laughs> okay, what was I saying? Oh, uh, I'm going to come back and I probably will collage plage on it. It will depend on what I put on here next. Uh, I want to put something here or here. I haven't decided. Um, <laughs> I got myself tickled. Okay, so let me do that. I'll come back and um, I'll get composed while I'm gone, hopefully. <laughs> See ya. Okay, I think I'm going to put a stamp or something on here, but I want to collage posh first. I thought about it, and I won't be directly stamping on here if I do a stamp because I only have one that's flat. That's the index card that I'm working on. The rest of them are a little canvas that have the, the opening here, and I can put something in here and do a stamp, but it just doesn't work well all the time, so I think I'll stamp and then... On paper and then put it on if I use a stamp but these are smaller so I don't know if a stamp will fit or look right so we're just gonna mod podge this first oh, collage podge actually I keep saying that okay that's the next step collage podge over everything <laughs> I'm back in a minute okay it's collage podged and I like it better once I get a coat of that on there on anything I'm doing so I'm not going to go any further with this one yet until I decide what to do on the smaller ones because I want them to all look similar and I don't know if the stamp I want to use will fit or not. So I'm going to go off camera because you don't need to see, this, see the... Here we go again. I can't talk today. <laughs> um, you don't need to see me draw the same thing over and over and over. I've already done one. I'm just going to draw birds on each of these and I will collage podge on them um, after I've gone around them in my pen. So that's what I'm going to do next. And I'll be back with you when the next step comes and let you know what I do next, okay? Okay, we have a little detour. I was deciding what to do on the small canvas, whether I was going to put a stamp or something, and I still might put a word, but I just wanted some more color, something fun. So I took my pencil and I'm gonna do it on here so that you can see what I did, it's very simple. I just took my pencil and I drew a flower in the corner and painted it in and then the collage podged over that. Um, you can do it anywhere you want to, you can you can change it up, it doesn't really matter. But I, I just wanted more on here and I really like to add flowers to my work so I've gotten the habit of where I just do that all the time pretty much. Now this is a smaller piece, like I said, the difference there's a big difference in the size I've got stuff everywhere y'all uh, and so I can afford a bigger flower here and here I either can do a smaller flower here in the corner or I could start from the side and go across this way but I think we've got a lot of up and down so I'm gonna go sideways or crooked which is kind of sideways <laughs> all right this has already been collage podged. This has not. It probably would be easier to draw on it before you have the collage podge, which I'll probably do on these two. But because this one's already almost done, um, I'm just going to do it on this one for you. And because the, the bird's already here, I want to do it after the bird's been put on because I don't want to have to draw the bird in the flower. I'm, I don't know. Maybe I should do it that way, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to draw a little corner piece for the center and I just do a basic flower that's just roundish or pointish pointyish petals <laughs> um, just for the fun of it because I like them I think they're pretty and then I start in a little bit you know from the edge and just make my first petal off to the side and then I come back up here and come down and make my next petal and it falls kind of where the bird is so I just kind of go around the bird like that and the next one's going to come down right there and come back up here and then I'll have one more off to the side okay
So that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if you can see, the pencil's very, very pale. So maybe put it in marker. Cause I'm gonna paint it so you'll be able to, I can fix it with marker if I want to. So there's one petal. And I could continue on the side here, but I probably won't. And the petals aren't perfect, they're just kind of funky looking, which I like. Okay, and that's all for that. I really like more than four petals, but um, I didn't really leave enough room for any. I could come out here like this. make more but I don't know if I want to maybe I will no I'm not going to <laughs> it's gonna erase them I do want more than four though so that's bothering me I like that better. Okay. Now I'm just going to color that in, and then when I get done, I'll show you all of them that I've done, okay? And you can see that right there. So I'll be back. Another thing I wanted to tell you was when I do the next ones, so you learn as you go. Um, I am going to put the bird on first, but I am going to leave off her little eyelashes and her little beak because then I won't have to worry about painting around these little lines or coming back in later and trying to fix the lines. So on the next two, I will draw the bird but leave off her eyelashes and her beak. That makes it easier. So just in case you're doing this or you're following along, you'll know, don't do what I do. Do as I say because I'm learning as I go. And I don't think that's a good idea to do what I did. So I think it's a good idea to do what I'm going to do next. So Okay, let me finish this and I'll come back and show you. Okay, I've drawn the next one in. Here's the example I was trying to tell you. I drew the bird, but I did not draw her eyelashes and I did not draw her beak. That way, I, when I put the flower in, I can paint it and then I can come in with the beak later instead of having to work around these little tiny lines. Okay, so that's an example of what I was talking about, even though I think you understood. All right, back to coloring, painting. Okay, I have finished the painting part and I have collage podged over all of these um, little canvases and I'm going to show you the close up so far how it's coming along. I'm not quite done. I'm going to have to quit for the day. So tomorrow I'll pick up where we left off. Hopefully tomorrow I will. And um, what I'm going to be doing is, hmm, what will I be doing? I'll be trying to figure out what I want on here as far as words. I want a word on here somewhere, maybe in the cup or maybe right here. I'm not sure. This one's still a little damp. Um, I also want to edge these with stays on, either black or brown. I kind of thinking. Maybe the black. This is an old one. These are old stays on pads that I did not re ink. Um, and I just keep them on hand for edging and stuff. I haven't used this one in a while because it's stuck. And let's see how it looks on this first. I'm also going to put a little background stamping on here, maybe just a tad of like a distressed look or something. I'm, I'm debating on that. Okay, that's got a little bit on there. And this, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, I know that it's hard to tell the difference, but, and this is not the black ink. I did not put extra there. It wouldn't put that much because that is almost empty. It's just enough to get a hard press edge right there. If you press real hard, you can get an edge, but that's from the paper that I put down, this paper here. Um, can you see the difference of the edges? Just a little bit of black outline right there, and this one doesn't have it, so that's what we're doing. A little bit of black outline, and I might put a little on it. Yeah, I'm just going to do the edge like that, the whole edge. So now you've got that difference. Okay, just a little bit. It's not a lot. This ink pad is really dry, so it's really hard to get anything off, really. Just a little bit. There we go. From Bailey's Digging. I haven't had the recorder going. I've been doing the painting. Everybody's been quiet. She's been snoring, but now I've turned on the camera and she's digging. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. I don't understand why she only digs when I start talking. She might be trying to tell me something. Can't do anything more on this because it's just flat. So, and before I go, I am going to do the little distressing on the background with the black. I'm going to use my Tips it here and it's gonna do just a little bit at a time, see if I like it. Yeah. See the difference now? This has it, this doesn't. Just adds a little interest, a little visual texture. Could do some on the side, but the sides aren't thick enough to really worry about that, so I'm not going to. All right. That's good enough. Now all that's left is the word, and if I did, if I had a little more time, I would do it today because I really want to finish these. Anyway, this is where we left off. I'm going to come back tomorrow, and I'll add the word, and then we'll be done with these. Okay, and I'll sign all these tomorrow too after they're not so sticky. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is the next day. It is what day? The 27th. And Tuesday, yes. Um, 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 the next thing I want to do to these is put a word on them. Okay, I picked out some words that I liked, and now I have them set on here on each one a different way because I can't decide how I like it. I don't know if I like it kind of uh, cattywampus there, go like it's going in the cup, like a cup full of joy, or if I want it on the side here, this is colorful, like right there or in the cup, this one says belong, and this one is over here off the side, and it just says home. I am leaning toward the cattywampus. <laughs> I like that word. Um, because I just think it looks kind of cute, like it's either coming out of the cup or going into the cup. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? I know after the fact it won't matter because I'll have already done it, but I wish you could tell me now. I'm leaning toward this one. Somebody's going to say this one. Let's go with that one. All right. Problem solved. Um, and then we'll be done with these, except for one more thing. I think I might add a backing to these so that you can hang them. I'm not sure. And I'm wondering if I should tone these down a little. I wonder if they're too bright. But that's that's me. That's who I am. I, I'm colorful. I do the colorful things. So I... I don't know, maybe I should leave them. All right, let's scoot those up to the side here.
went for a walk this morning and I don't know what is it about Bailey. She just finished her digging, by the way. Um, she likes to walk back, but she doesn't want to walk out. So the walk out is trot, 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 turn around, go back the other way, pull, 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 trot, 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 turn around, go the other way. <laughs> it's a tug of war the whole way, practically. And she does better when my husband goes with me. It's like she wants us both to be there. She trots along just fine. She's very curious because she's a beagle, so everything catches her nose and her attention. But I struggle with her to get her to walk out and around to get back, and then coming back, she does fine. Buster used to do that when he got older. Maybe it's an older dog thing. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't want to walk. It's good for her, though, so she needs to do it. So, we had our little walk, and now I'm having some tea. She wants her lunch, but I'm not going to feed it to her yet. I'm going to finish these first. She had a late breakfast anyway, so we feed her three times a day, plus her little snacks in between. But um, we break up however much food she's supposed to have in a day into three sections so that she eats three times a day instead of one big clump. She thinks she should eat all the time, though. She's a beagle, so they would eat all day if you let them. All right, I'm going to dry these, and I'll be back. Okay, now I'm debating on what to do. I need to outline the words, but I'm thinking of putting a background on here and finishing it off just so it looks more finished. But I can't decide. And I pulled out the papers I have available, which isn't many because they're, guess where they are, all in the box. And I only have a few that I bought just recently, like sheets, a few sheets that I bought for a couple projects, but I don't like them with this. Then I thought I would take one of my deli sheets that I've got where I printed off and dabbed off paint. And I like this one with these. So I thought I would cover the back of an index card maybe. I don't know, it's not hard enough, stiff enough. It might be enough just to to give it a background. But I'm thinking that's what I'll do, maybe. Let's try it. If we don't like it, we'll have an index card prepped for something. We need three of them, actually. And this one doesn't need it. This is the one I'm keeping. This was the sort of tester, and so it's done. Well, except for a few things, it's almost done. Alrighty. All right, I'm gonna glue. Okay, I have my cards covered. I cut them out already off camera. This is what they look like. And these are really pretty. You can have these as starter cards for your index cards. Just take your deli paper or whatever paper you drop your paint on and stuff. You drop paper and cover your index card. So now I have to decide if I like this on the back. So imagine I'm looking at the front and I turn it over. I think I do. <clears throat> I'm going to do one on camera for you so you know what I did. I think that this is something that you could decide for yourself. You don't really need to see it, but um, in case someone was curious or wanted to know, once I showed the actual finished project, then you'll know. I just took glue and I went around the frame and I put a, a bunch of glue around the frame first, quite a bit. I'll have my apron on and I'm wearing a white shirt. I do that. I shouldn't do that. Okay, and then I took my finger and be careful because this is wood, you might get a splinter, but I was careful. I didn't do a lot of sliding back and forth along the grain, but um, I'm rubbing the glue out to the edges to make sure that everything's covered. This is just to give it good coverage. And I'm not even sure I'm showing you here. Let me move up. 
There we go. Like this. pretty good coverage there and then I take my mod podge <laughs> collage podge <laughs> oh my oh my oh my I have to get the glue off my fingers first and I'm gonna run a little coat of mod podge <laughs> collage bodge around the frame, giving it a little more coverage, because you always miss a spot, you know? And then I take the frame and pick it up. I turn my card over. I kind of figure out where I want it, but I'm, I'm kind of doing the center. I was going to line it up and trace it and all that, but I decided no. I'm just kind of doing it in the center. That way I can rub the card around a little bit and smush it. And all the seeping out glue, if there is any, can be wiped away or it'll be cut away. I'm going to turn it over and I kind of swish it in. I am going to collage posh. I remembered. I remembered the right word. On the back side in a minute. I was considering putting a ribbon in here for hanging, but I decided to not do that. I'm going to do something else. I'll show you in a second. Okay, and then I'll let that dry. And this is the first one I did. So then I'm going to come back and just trim off the card. Okay, then you turn over, that's what it looks like. That's the front, the back. And then I'll probably take my stays on and I will go around the edges to complete this look so this little white edge isn't showing. This is still glued, uh, drying a little bit. So, and then I have some little pieces here that I can use in other projects. So I'll save those. So that's what I'm gonna do, finish doing those and I will come back and show you the next step. Okay. Here's where we're at. I took one of these gold screw eyes and they are the seven millimeter like this and they look like that. And I took my ice pick. You can use anything that's strong enough to go through this wood. The ice pick uh, was good, but the pokey tool would probably bend, so I would suggest something like an awl or an ice pick or something, or don't do this method, do it a different way. Um, and I just centered the hook, put a mark in the center, and I uh, did it on this side. And I took my my ice pick and I pushed real hard and screwed back and forth until I went. Mm, about that deep and left a hole and then I took a dab of glue and put it on the top where my hole is let me put this one here put a dab of glue there and then I took my little eye hook and I screwed it in now the first one I did I broke because I didn't go deep enough on my ice pick I only went about that deep and this these aren't strong enough to go through here um, without a deep enough start starter hole. So I would suggest making your starter hole almost the length of your eye hook screw part right there. And that way you have a little leeway for when you get your eye hook in there, it'll attach and it'll hook and you can screw it on down. Um, otherwise you might strip your hole if you put too much of a starter hole and you go all the way too deep it'll be too big possibly you don't want to do that so and then I took a piece of ribbon that was the length I wanted for hanging um, which was this part right here and I just stuck it through 
the hole. Okay. And then I just tie a knot at the top with both pieces of ribbon together. Sounds like a fire truck going by out way out on the road. And then I trim off the ends however long I want them. Okay, and then I didn't like the eye hook like that, plain. So I, that's why I inserted a little bow right here. And this is something you have to have patience with. You have to hold it a while to, for the glue to stick because you're using an organdy type of ribbon and it takes a long time for it to adhere. But you can do it. So this is just a one quarter inch um, organdy light blue. And the reason I chose light blue is because I didn't want it to stand out. I want it to kind of just be disappear, disappear in the background. I didn't want it to be like bold because I hadn't intended to do this. And I cut a strip long enough so that when I, I can fold it and do a double ribbon, okay? So you just fold it like that in half. And then I just made my bow. I trim it after and before. I've done it both ways, but this time I'm doing it before. And then when I put my glue on here, like here's your bow. I want the glue on the bottom of the bow, right here, and on the back of the bow. So I can set it down in front of this hook, and it sits on the canvas. So the glue on the bottom adheres to the canvas, and the glue on the back kind of hits the eye hook at the bottom. But don't catch your ribbon in here. You want to leave your ribbon loose so that it is able to move, okay? That's how I did it. But, like I said, you can do these any way you want to. You could have just gone in and put your ribbon on the back and then put something over the back to cover it. But I started off this way and I'm just gonna be consistent then on the back. Okay, then I put my ribbon out of the way, and I set my bow straight down, and then kind of snug it up against the eyelet, the eye hook, with this ribbon out of the way. Then I took my ice pick, or whatever you're using to make your holes, and I just held it there for a long, long time. <laughs> but I've got my little strands mixed up. There we go. Hang on, I'm not on camera. I'll be back on camera in a minute. Okay. All right, and then you just hold it for a while until it's glued. And I got glue on my ribbon here, but it'll be all right. It's not a big deal. The main thing is you want it to glue down to your canvas. So then you hold it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> And finally, it'll glue. So, <clears throat> I also went around the letters with the black, but I haven't done this one, so I'll do that when I come back. I'm going to hold this for a minute and get it glued in place, and then I'll come back. Okay, I've been sitting here about a week holding this. <laughs> Actually, it's been, it's been a little bit of time, a few minutes, several minutes, 10 or 15 minutes maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it's about dry. Almost, not quite, but still good enough. I can lay it down. And I'm just concerned about it staying on, not really that it's perfectly lined up because it's going to get moved around. And then I'm going to take the Pasca pen because I like the color. It's darker, richer than my Sharpie. My Sharpie doesn't do well on this for some reason. And I'm going to just outline the word home. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Let me make sure. Okay, I'll show you these back up. 
So that's what we wound up with. I think I'm done. I was kind of sort of thinking I wanted to bring a little white in to tone this down some, but actually I think not. And I'll hold them up close. The painting and the markers and stuff like that, they're not perfect. You can see the little spaces of um, the background through the petals, but I think it looks really sketchy, kind of painty and pretty. I like it. So, and this one, these are the ones that hang. So that's the green cup home, and this is the blue cup, and this is the red cup. So that's it for today and yesterday and the day before and the day before, however long it took me to do these. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. So y'all have a good afternoon. I'm going to come back with a another video soon. I've got several things I want to do. So um, I'll see y'all again soon. Have a great afternoon and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.